Hello, today I will be doing a few more log problems. Uh, I'll be just combining these into a single logarithm and we're going to be making use of all these uh, simple log rules, addition rule, subtraction rule, and the, the power rule here. Log of a to the power of b is equal to b times log of a. So, 3 log x plus log of y. Before we can simplify this and combine the logs, I'm actually going to have to bring the 3 up, just the, the opposite of this, um, of what I said here. So, 3 log x is actually going to be equivalent to log x to the power of 3. My voice just cracked. Um, plus log y. Now I can actually combine these, and because I'm adding the logs, I can multiply the contents and this will become log x to the 3 times y. That's it. We have a single logarithm. Okay. Now, same thing here for number 2. I'm gonna actually have to bring the 2 up and the 4 up to the c as well in order to get started. So this will make it log a to the power of 2, so log a squared, minus log b, plus log c to the 4. Then, since I'm subtracting these guys, I can divide a squared and b. And since I'm adding the log c to the 4, we multiply them. And this will end up as log a squared c to the 4 all over b. So note that the b goes down to the bottom because it's being subtracted, but the c remains on the top here multiplying the a squared because it's being added. Hopefully that makes sense and we have a single logarithm again. Then one more question like this we we'll bring the 7 up here log a b to the power of 7 but because we're actually putting both a and b to the power of 7 it's going to become log a to the 7 b to the 7 plus log c squared minus log of a. Now we can combine all these logarithms and together they're gonna look like this log a to the 7 b to the 7 c squared all over a and we can actually cancel out one of the a's here with the a on the bottom making it to the power of 6 so this will become log a to the 6 b to the 7 c squared and we also have one single logarithm hopefully that made sense and thank you for watching